Hello friends, in this video I'll show you how to add search bar in Excel slicer. Like and subscribe, support the channel, let's get started. We have such a data table. Let's create some kind of pivot table based on this table. To do this, go to the Insert tab, click on the Pivot Table button, the entire range of the data table is highlighted. Now we simply confirm the open window and, as a result, an empty pivot table appears on a new worksheet. For more details on how to create data tables and pivot tables, watch these videos. As an example, let's display sales for all cities and months. Now let's assume that this pivot table should display sales in each of these cities only for certain selected products. We can achieve this using the slicer. To add a slicer, select the pivot table, go to the pivot table analyze tab that appears and click the insert slicer button here. Since we are going to select only products in this slicer, we mark this field with the appropriate checkbox and confirm the entry by clicking OK. The slicer is inserted and now we can view sales for individual products or by holding down the control key we can select multiple products at once. However, such lists can be very long and searching for the desired element or even more so several elements becomes completely inconvenient. Even in this small list of products, in order to display sales for all types of apples on the screen, we will have to scroll through the list and select each element separately. In order not to do this manually, it would be good to have a search function in the slicer. But unfortunately, slicers don't have such a function yet. Which means that to add a search bar, we can only use the available functionality. Let's place the slicer a little to the right. Now select the pivot table and use the Ctrl A key combination to select the entire table. Copy and paste. We don't need the second pivot table, we copied it in order to leave the connection of our future search bar with the original table and the slicer. Which can be checked by right clicking on the slicer and selecting report connections. As you can see, these checkboxes show that the slicer is connected to both the main and secondary. Now press the right mouse button and select Show Field List. Here we remove all the existing fields and add the product field to the filters section. Great, this is exactly the button we needed. By clicking on it, we have powerful functionality for searching and filtering values. For example, let's find all the products that have the letter P in their name. We write the letter in the search and here we get all the products that contain the letter P. Let's select Pepper, for example, and as you can see, we filter the sales for this product, which is reflected in the main pivot table and slicer. Now we will place the slicer on top of the search bar, change the width of the column and slicer so that they complement each other harmoniously. Let's check the result in action. We click on the filter button and suppose we need sales for all types of apples. We write the word apple in the search bar and we get all types of apples available in the list. We click on the checkbox, select multiple items, click OK and our filter is applied what the main pivot table and slicer indicate. That's all, now we know all more, thanks for watching.